Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. We are trying not to die here as Tyrone <laughs> in your opener of Alice 4. I love it. I start this up. We're playing along. I mean, things are going okay. Uh, you know, we have Scotland as a vassal. We're allied with France, Portugal, and Burgundy. Okay, we lost our alliance with Denmark, but they're dumb, so screw them. But someone in Twitch chat's like, oh yeah, I played Tyrone. I had all of England conquered by 1500. It's like they had rebels. I'm like, yeah, well, I haven't had a single rebel in my England. <laughs> and I can't do anything about it. You can't support rebels. There are no rebels to support. Oh, that's not true. <gasps> there are now. Look, I can support rebels in Normandy. You know why? Because France has crisscrossed it. When you crisscross it in war like this, then it adds revolt risk. Occupied plus three. Otherwise, it wouldn't have revolt risk. Normally, I can't support any revolt. There's no revolt risk in, in Scotland. There's no revolt risk in Wales. There's no revolt risk in Cornwall. There's no there's no Lollard heretic. See, it says heretic is the revolt that wants to spawn. But there's no chance. There is just no chance. He has a little bit of war exhaustion. 0 0.5. Oh, oh, he might faint. Oh, he's fine. Anywho, Denmark lost all of their unions. They had a union over Bavaria and Sweden and Norway, and they've lost it all. We're going to start improving relations with Norway. They have us rivaled, but I don't want to be their rival. If we can, I'd like to get along, Norway. You and I, we can be friends. You want to colonize? You can go to Canada. Go on, Norwegian Canada. You go right ahead. Did you even take exploration? No, you took aristocratic. Ha! Ah, he took aristocratic. He's in one of the best colonizing locations in the world, right up here in Iceland. And he took aristocratic. A little douche nozzle. Portugal's already into Africa. Look at this. I don't see Castile anywhere. Nobody's in the Caribbean yet. Hmm. Interesting. Our range is still crap. We're at um, 240. We need to get to Tech 7 before we can colonize. All right. Fast forward to Tech 7. And we need to get relations back with France because they're a little upset that we didn't stay in their war. Dude, we did the best we could. We conquered me. And then England dropped 20,000 guys on my capital, so I said, fuck it. War's over. But seriously, he's not even bringing his troops home. I guess he is now, 22. Yeah, he's gonna go pick them up now. Ah, <sighs> France, you should be going to England, not invading Hungary. He's invading Hungary. No, he's not. He's standing in Austria. Oh, there you go. He pieced out Hungary. Okay, so now it's just England, Lithuania, Gelray, and Portugal. Okay. Ooh, tech up time. Hell yeah. Yeah, production efficiency plus 10%, because, you know, Ireland is all about the production. We make a whole 0.79 ducats a month on that shit. Yeah. We can bulb. Um, no, we're not going to bulb a damn thing. We're going to go for range, baby, range. We need tech 7. Okay, we've maxed relations with France, and they're, they're decently happy. They're not, the, they're not the happiest little clam ever. They're invading Portugal. Okay, I guess they're going to peace out one nation at a time. That's fine. Force them out of the war. That works. It's a good strategy. It'll work. Um, yeah, they're only at negative 2. Hmm, should be fine, actually. And Lithuania's out of the war. Now they're at plus 1. And then they're going to force Portugal out next. Oh, goody. France is doing a good job. I appreciate that, France. Really, I do. Look at that. England keeps dropping troops off. England just dropped 14,000 guys. Are you kidding me? How many do they have left? England? England only has 15. This is their entire army. This 5K is all they have left in the British Isles. Holy crap, I need to go to war now. When's my truce up? <laughs> 1491. If I can go to war like tomorrow, we could drum we could kill this army and go over to England. They have no soldiers here. None. None. Oh my god, please. France is gonna destroy these armies in, in, in mainland France. Oh. Oh, wouldn't that be great if France forced him to um Get rid of his alliance with Portugal. Oh, that'd be perfect. Do it, France. Do it. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Okay, Norway likes us, but they still rivaled us. Will you stop rivaling me? Come on. It's unbecoming. Stop rivaling me. Burgundy still has their union over Castile. 
it's so weird. The Ottomans still had their union over Crimea, but that's normal. Very normal. England's just chilling in Calais. And they have four dudes in their capital, London. That's it. France has destroyed the rest. Portugal should peace out. There you go. Yep, they'll annul treaties with England. Oh, yeah. That means they can't have an alliance for like five years. That means if we declare war, Portugal may join our side. They won't. But Burgundy would. And Burgundy would bring Castile. Would that be enough? Let me check the ships real quick. Uh, wow, England has 48 ships. Castile's got 28. They have half. But England used to have 56, so they've lost some boats. And Burgundy has... Oh, yeah! Castile and Burgundy. If they can team up, they can take on England's navy. Ooh. Okay, when's my truce up? 1491. We're going. 1491, that is our date. Burgundy's going to join us. It will be epic. Oh, I'm shaking. I'm excited. Look at this. England's got the... Is that their whole army? I think that might be their whole army. Uh, England. Yep. 19,000. So they have... They have 15,000 here. And they have 4,000 at home. In London. That's it. <laughs> ah! Oh! Oh my goodness. I'm so happy. I can't... I love it. Thank you, France. Thank you, France. Are you winning that war? He is winning that war. He hasn't even gone for the war goal. The war target is Calais. He hasn't even gone for it. He's just ignoring it entirely. Which is hilarious, because he has a positive war score. Negative 25. Defender holds Calais. Negative 25. And he's still winning. Oh, man. This is great. Three more years we can declare war. Oof. Tension. Oh, we can tack up. Good. Tensions between nobles and clergy. Piss off the Pope or fight six nobles? I don't want to fight six nobles, but I think we should. Crap. I don't want to piss off the Pope again. We've already had this once, and we already pissed off the Pope once. Right, please tell me we can win this. Yeah, we got it. Still, that was closer than it should have been. France is now the papal controller. They might be able to, um, what's it called? Excommunicate England. Wouldn't that be cool? We should invest. Uh, this guy, I mean, he's still sort of young. Try to get him. Although this one's even younger and cheap. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Not Regency. No. How old are we? Okay, we're 14. Oh, oh that's fine. We are 14. Look at that Regency. 001. Ew. But it's not that bad. Pretenders on our face. No leader. We need to get a leader for our army. Okay. We'll get a leader for the army. A zero shock leader. Yeah, that's great. Well, at least you have somebody to cry on. Okay. In three years, we go to war. Oh. Our king our king was only... We only had a regency for a few months. Still, it was bad enough to have a pretender rise. Ugh. I hate regency councils. Oh. Marriage, yes. England will cede Normandy to France and pay ducats. Okay. So the war's over. That means England's going to start regaining troops. Shoot. I was kind of hoping they would keep that war going for a while. England has 9,000 men. That should be okay. I think we can take that on. Scotland wants a marriage. Of course. France, you should ask me for a marriage, please. Please. God damn it, France. Fine, I'll ask you. Lazy France is lazy. Yeah, England cannot get their alliance back with Portugal for a while. It doesn't show a truce here, but technically they have some type of relationship truce where they can't do that for a while. And 
they still haven't vassalized Gelray. I can't believe that. What? Are they just waiting for relations to go up? Oh yeah, they're almost there. They're at 160. They have to get to 190. They're almost there. God, this general is so bad. He has zero shock. And shock is the only thing that matters right now. Well, at least you won. <laughs> at least you succeeded. You are not a total failure. Okay, can we get relations back with France? Make sure it's tip-top. Portugal. And then we should probably fabricate some more claims. When does our claim on Meath run out? Um, oh. We still have a couple years on that. Let's go claim Lancashire. Do they still only have nine troops? Or are they rebuilding? They still only have nine troops. Wow. Two years. Hope they don't get that many troops. And if we're sneaky, we can bring France into the war later on. Can you be sneaky? But yeah, Castile's and Burgundy's navies might be able to rip England apart. I hope. They still have the biggest navy, but Castile and Burgundy, they're right there. England's slowly getting the troops back. Come on, truce. What is their manpower? Uh, 23,000. So they can rebuild quickly. That's the problem. I want to get this going as soon as we can, which will be in two years. I was hoping they would stay at war with France, which would keep their war exhaustion high, which would mean it would be easier to make demands of them. But they didn't stay in the war, unfortunately. What? England is in a PU under Lithuania? Are you kidding me? What the hell? What the hell? Lithuania has a Lancaster. King. What? Does that mean we can't even declare war? No, we can. But that means Lithuania can bring in all of his allies, which are not much, to be honest. But Poland does have a navy, right? God, this is so stupid. It's just... Oh. Can I support rebels? And I'm sorry that I yelled right there. This is just ridiculous. I don't think I can even declare war on this crap. Tell you what, if we wait, if we wait, I assume this union will fall. Lithuania has shit for prestige. They do have good relations with England, but they have no prestige. So there's a good chance this union will fall. All they have to do is lose some war somewhere or just have a, a pop-up event or have a rebellion or something and they'll lose the union. And then England will have no relations with anyone in the world. That will be our time to strike. Why is Norway at war with Sweden? Swedish reconquest of Jomsland. Oh, wow. They both have cores on that province. Sucks to be them. Yeah, I know. Lithuania is weak and farther away, but they can call in all of their allies, including Poland. And Poland is a decent uh, military strength, but they also have a navy. And Poland being able to bring troops over means we probably won't be able to siege anything. 
that's the issue. Oh, so stupid. See, the reason I wanted to jump on the reason I wanted to jump on the war is Burgundy would help us. They already said they would, and Portugal could not get their alliance back with England because they were forced into that deal. It was like five years or ten years where they can't get that alliance with England. So I wanted to jump on the war as soon as possible, but now we don't have to. Because when the Union breaks, they will have no relations with anyone. At all. None. Just like Norway has no relationship with anyone when that Union with Denmark broke. Same thing. So I think we just wait. We play the waiting game. Wow, this is so weird. No, Lithuania does not become Western if they integrate England. <laughs> it doesn't work that way. That's an amusing idea, though. You know what? Uh, we should do some buildings. Get some base tax coming in. Crazy world. This is such a crazy world. I have no words for the sort of stuff that goes on. Is this just due to the 1.3 patch? I, I'll, I'll admit, I have not played a ton on the 1.3 patch. I played most of it between 1.0 and 1.2. But, wow, there seems to be a ton of weird unions just going on, you know? Come on, break the union. Marriage with Burgundy. I don't want it, dude. You are not a long-term ally. You are a short-term means to an end, my friend. Nothing personal, and you didn't hear that. And Norway surrendered to Sweden. Lull. wonder if Sweden wants to help. I don't know if I want to get an alliance with Sweden, though. They're going to be button heads with Russia. As soon as Muscovy gets tech level 10, which admittedly is a long way off, as soon as they get tech 10, they're going to have Russia. They already have all the lands they need. Oh, goodness. You know what would be cool? Is if being in a union would cause you to have more revolt risk. Hey, we got a cardinal! Look at that. We have a cardinal. Cool. I guess we'll go for this guy now. He's cheap. But we'll wait till we have some more points. Yeah, Switzerland's been doing great. Um, they went to war early and often, and they have France as an ally. And that has allowed... Oh, they have Burgundy, too. That has allowed them to expand. You know, good for them. And yeah, Ferrara, well, I mean, I guess they've done a little bit. I think the reason Ferrara is doing well is because Milan had their shit pushed in by Venice and Switzerland. I mean, Milan still exists, and Genoa's capital has moved over to Caffa. Milan still exists, but they're down to two provinces, and they don't even own their old capital. So they're, they're just in a bad spot, you know? If Milan still existed, like, as a nation, as they begun with Lombardia, I don't think Ferrara would have done this. I think that's what's allowing them to do it. Wow. Let me make um, Lithuania and England both important. Does that mean we get to see them? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I thought it would show up over here. Uh, it doesn't seem to show up. I thought making them important. So in CK2, if you make a person important, it'll make them show up over here. Wanted to keep track. <clears throat> Wanted to keep track of all these people so I can see what's going on. Oh well. Alright, let's work on. Dun, dun, dun. Well, those three are all happy, so I guess that's fine. Well, let's work on England a bit. God, so stupid. This is just a weird weird world you know you know what why don't we call this an episode here thank you guys for joining me i have been shen you have been you come back next time where i don't know what's gonna happen this world is just crazy i have no other words for it i'll see you then have a good day